Let's talk about Batman and Karate Kid's second fight. This fight was shown in two different issues. First, Countdown, issue 50, and Justice League of America, issue 8. Countdown 50 came out first, so we'll do that one first. For context, Karate Kid is confused, and he thinks his name is Trident. We jump into the fight with Karate Kid hitting Batman three times, and then Batman hitting him once. Karate Kid goes for a kick, which is blocked by Batman. Batman goes for a punch, which is blocked by Karate Kid. Karate Kid counters with a chop to looks like the collarbone, or the neck. Batman attacks Karate Kid four times and is blocked each time. Karate Kid retaliates with a ridge hand strike, which is blocked by Batman, only to get wrapped up and thrown. But Batman then recovers by landing on his feet. Karate Kid takes his opportunity to take Batman's belt. However, the fight ends with Black Lightning intervening and stunning Karate Kid. We see a slightly different version of this fight in issue 8 of Justice League of America, where the fight starts off with Batman and Black Lightning examining Karate Kid. We see the fight starts with Karate Kid knocking out Black Lightning and proceeds to attack Batman. Batman blocks the attack and then hits Karate Kid. The next panel of the fight doesn't show any attacks or defenses, it just shows the two of them talking. We then cut to the point where Karate Kid takes Batman's belt. And then we end off with Batman saying that he shifted his leg, not because of pain, but because he was trying to get him into position for Black Lightning. So what can we take away from this fight? Well, first and foremost, let's talk about the context I brought up earlier. Karate Kid thinks his name is Trident. He's clearly not in his right mind. How much that affects him, we don't know. But we do know for a fact that he is, in fact, enraged in this fight. He's clearly out for blood. We also see that during the fight, Batman and Karate Kid are going relative to each other. Some people like to bring up that Batman needed Black Lightning to defeat Karate Kid. That's not how I see it. In all likelihood, Batman saw the fight as unnecessary, and having Black Lightning end it quickly allows them to continue doing what they need to get done. While a very entertaining fight, I believe their other fight that they had in Zero Gravity was actually a better, more clear fight between the two of them.